Leaderboard is a great way to build engagement with your audience through your bot. And so you can see here how I'm currently ranked fifth. And my goal is obviously to get to rank first. Uh, human nature says that people don't want to be second best or third best, they want to be the best. So uh, add a user to a leaderboard and show the user where they rank in relation to everybody else on the leaderboard and then you can generate a dynamic gallery with all users. And so you can see here uh, our first place user has a little uh, gold um, emoji for first place. Uh, this guy Luke has a silver emoji. Jerry has a bronze emoji. And uh, there I am, I'm ranked fifth. And so my goal is to get to be number one. Um, and so I can keep browsing the leaderboard and I can see what other people have scored. Maybe I'll know some people or I can discover some people. And if I click more, it'll then generate another gallery with the next set of results. So you can see Patrick is currently ranked 10th on the leaderboard and then 11, 12, 13. We have an example trivia game. Um, and if we look at the trivia game, uh, let's preview it. We're going to play Disney trivia. And all we need to do is reward the user with points. So we're going to it's going to ask some questions. And for every question that the user gets right, we've got this custom user field. Uh, and it's going to, it's a number type field. And it's going to add a value of 10 to this field. So if we get this question right, uh, this is, what movie is this princess from? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So you'll see that I got 10 points and that custom user field just increased by 10. Uh, if I get the question wrong, then we don't give them the points. We only need to give them the points if they get it right. Okay. So that's wrong. And I know the answer to this one is Fantasia. So you'll see here we have that field here, and we'll increase that by whatever value you want. I've set it to 10. And then at the end, it's going to tally up all of the points that they've earned. So let's jump over to this flow here, and let's go back. And you can see here, uh, let's see how many points you collected. And then what we'll do is we're going to update a total. So we have user stats, so we'll increase the user's current total um, with the total amount that they earn playing the game. Um, there's also global stats, so you can keep track of total points awarded for all users. And then you can see there's our standby. And first what we'll do is we're going to need to check to see if the user has been added to the leaderboard. And if they have, we're just going to tag them. So you can see user added to leaderboard. That's our tag. And if they have, then if they've been added to the leaderboard before, we just need to update the leaderboard. And if they haven't been added to the leaderboard, we'll need to uh, add them. We'll need to write the user's score uh, and get the information we need and add that to the Google Sheet. And then once we do that, then we'll generate this request. And you can see here that this request basically says where G equals user ID. So we're looking from a Google Sheet for a particular user ID. And to close that, let's actually pull up the Google Sheet. And you'll see there I am. And there's my ID. So this is G, the column. That's ID. We're looking for this user ID. And that allows me to display all of this other information in the row. So I'm currently ranked fifth. And this is what the gallery title is. It's, uh, there's my name, there's the number, and here's the total amount that I've earned. So all of our elements uh, are, are loaded from a single row to show the user where they stand in relation to every other user. And then if we click view all, then it's going to make another request. That's this request here. 
Uh, and that's because there in this request, you can see here there's a quick reply in right here. View all and done. Those are the button labels. And we're going to target uh, these steps. We're going to target a step labeled view all and a step labeled replay. So that, that's these. View all. They don't need to be linked because they're, they're targeted from this request. So, um, we can just click view all and we'll get our dynamic request. And in this request here, the view all request, you can see here that the query is order by H D E S C. So if we pull up the Google sheet, we can see H is here. So we're going to order by score. And it's going to rank the, by the highest score first. So all of our data lives in the Google Sheet, and we just need to make these simple requests. And we have this engaging experience where we can have um, different pieces of information taken out of the Google Sheet to generate these dynamic leaderboards. Okay, so let's go back to this here. And you'll see here that we're either going to add or update the leaderboard. Now, if we want to add to the leaderboard, you don't want to uh, worry about setting up one of these leaderboard styles because they're actually fairly complicated. So that's why we have templates. This is leaderboard style number three, and it's already set up for you. Uh, but if we go back to here, you can see that there's three different styles, leaderboard style one, Leaderboard style two, leaderboard style three, and explains what each is, and you just pick one. You just move this to the style that you want. So I'm currently using style number three. And um, what you'll need to do is, I'm just going to go back here, and we do another check to see if the user ID is already in the in the Google Sheet, because if it already is in the Google Sheet, then we're not going to add the user to the leaderboard. We'll just update it. And if they are not, then we need to get the user's profile picture. And so we're going to make a request uh, using bot sheets. And we're going to write to the Google Sheet. So we pick our style. And then you'll see here we have write to sheet. So here's where you can use the Google Sheets actions. That's in the many chats integration with Google Sheets. And you'll just need to manually set that up. It takes a couple of minutes, but it's You'll see here that we have uh, these user fields that are built into the template, and they map to Google column titles. So here, title and subtitle are uh, custom user fields, and they map to uh, what we have here is title and subtitle in the Google Sheet. So you'll see here, there's title and there's subtitle. So there's a couple of places where you need to manually set that up, and then it's done. And then uh, it'll write to the sheet in the format because it is going to use this this style or the style that you picked to write all of this information directly into the Google Sheet template. And then when you want to update a Google Sheet, um, you need to do the same thing. You're going to need to, uh, I'll just close this. I'll show you. You're going to need to update a row. And so I'll click that. Here's where you'll update the row, and you'll just pick the Google Sheet, and you'll pick the worksheet, and you're going to look up column ID, and look up value is user ID, and you just need to map the total winnings, or the total earnings for the user, which is a custom user field, to a column called score. So you can see here, score. So it's going to update this, this column with the user's score. It's going to take a value for the users in the, stored in the custom user field, and it's going to update the Google Sheet with that value. You just need to map the custom user field to the header. You can update the Google Sheet, uh, and you can uh, view the leaderboard. <laughs>